Mr. Sanford. Uh, I thank the chairman. Um, I, I would echo the sentiments that have already been expressed. Um, and I think that this, this uh, what's occurring here is in essence a monument to two things. One, to human kindness, and secondly, to bold leadership. Under the category of human kindness, I, I, I think it's a really a strong act that uh, former Senator Hollings is taking by saying, take my name off the plate there on Meeting Street, and would you put Judge Waring's name on it? Um, it's a reflection of human kindness that extended to by Judge Waring to uh, a then young lawyer by the name of Ernest Hollings back in the 1940s. Um, and, and you see that pattern throughout, if you sort of listen to the lore in Charleston, South Carolina, about Judge Waring, the different things he tried to do during his time as a judge. It's also, though, as has already been mentioned, about bold leadership, um, because if you go back to the 1951 Briggs versus Elliott uh, case, Thurgood Marshall argued in front of Judge Waring in the district court that Clarendon County's bus policies were indeed unequal. And the county was spending, in essence, twice on the white line as they were on the black line, but the black line had three times the number of students involved. A Judge Waring was the only vote uh, in favor of, of Marshall's argument. And at that time, he argued that in his dissent that it was unreasonable, unscientific, and unadulterated prejudice that violated black citizens' 14th Amendments. Long story short, he took a very bold stand in the 1950s. It was a lonely stand at that point in the South, and uh, I think this was an appropriate commemoration of his leadership, his willingness to take a stand, and uh, the humility and kindness that's being extended in this case uh, by Fritz Hollings, back up to Judge Ware. And was that a deal back? 